NBC Universal optioned my book. Really? Last August, paid me for the option, and I was due to be paid this August, and lo and behold, they went on strike. <laughs> writer strike. So, yeah, we're on a writer strike. So, uh, a company called Eighty Seven North Productions wants has sold it to Hulu uh, via NBC, who purchased it. They're going to produce it. So, when the strike is settled, hopefully we can uh, get back on track with that. I wrote about where the crime scenes were. I went there myself many times, mm -hmm. and uh, so many people have told me that. They've gone there too since the book came out. They wanted so, to see where it happened. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yes, and so there's. And you mentioned uh, that in the book. You talk about that. What was that like going to the woods, to the campsite where Philip Dombluski was stabbed and murdered? That tree, right? That tree has blue paint on yes. that tree. It was identified by police, and that paint is still there to this day? Yes. Uh, I found. Uh, it's Sheriff Parker, uh, who was the Hamilton County Sheriff uh, prior to the current sheriff, he took me to the campsite and he told me, and I always thought that when they left the campsite that Gerald took them right, which is deeper into the forest, but he took them towards Route 30 between Wells and Speculator. Mm -hmm. He said they went left. So when I finally got the police report from Central Bureau of Records, um, it was marked out that he had taken them 200 feet, so we measured it. And it said they went into this logging clearing, which we saw, mm -hmm. and then they took a two o'clock angle. So we marched back there and we actually found a tree with two parallel blue lines. And then we found another one. We found four of them total, which was the four kids were mm. tied up. And uh, of course, in 1973, they used lead paint. So to this day, those, those markings still are remain. pretty clear still. What was that like seeing, seeing that? That was... Um, Difficult, but the more the um, more difficult spot was uh, uh, where he took Sue Pets in, in Mineville. Um, the air shaft at the at the mine. The air shaft at the mine. You sense. I first I went up there a couple times, and then I took two paranormal uh, guys up there who brought all this equipment. Mm -hmm. And so when you go there, it's uh, it's across from the old mine shafts. Uh, we walked up this hill and got to the top of the hill where the mine is where she was found and someone had followed us up so i thought it was one of the locals no one was behind us you know we just felt this presence and uh so later um ryan and uh the fulton county sheriff went up there and the sheriff had his german shepherd dog this was recent and the dog went absolutely ballistic up there mm. near there and so there's a presence there and that's only probably quarter mile from Garrow's uh, home that he grew up in where his brother still yeah. lives um, so being a reporter you're supposed to be able to look at that and say no folks no wait a minute there's an explanation for wh exactly. what's happening exactly. here but that that must have been uh, that was weird a bit unnerving for you and, and it's funny because on the way there I had no belief in ghosts or spirits, but on the way there, the two paranormal guys kept kind of um, reassuring me that it would be all right, and I couldn't comprehend what they were saying. And you know, they're like, "Don't think about it; it's just you're writing a book," and they're going on and on, trying to warn me about this. And um, mm. after I left there, uh, I got hit with a terrible depression, like I never had before. Mm. And uh, they had told me that sometimes when you're at these spots that the spirits of the victims can latch on to you. And I later found out they're called hitchhikers. And so this depression hit me. I went to sleep that night and I was awakened in the middle of the night by like a whoosh of something leaving me. Mm. And almost saying like goodbye or see you later. And the depression lifted. and. Then I started looking into a little bit of this stuff, and uh, a, a, a pretty well-informed guy, pretty well-educated guy, told me about hitchhikers. That you know, if you're in their area, they'll latch onto your soul at that, and mm. uh, then leave. But um, you know, and then other people who have been up there have felt the same phenomenon. And the dog was so wild that the sheriff was too scared to go up there. And uh, uh, 
so you know there was something there there is something there and the paranormal guys picked up uh, they had the other tactical equipment yeah. they picked up a couple things uh, one was uh, from a female saying I'm cold and some other stuff so you know that that's where you feel presence more so than the Dabluski murder yeah. we didn't feel anything at the Dabluski murder area um, mm. but uh, it's spooky don't get me wrong but but in Mineville, there's definitely, you can sense something up in those mines.